It's true it's that true nine ball nine favors, favors the aggressive, aggressive player, player, but that's, but that's if, if, if the player, player can actually play. play. And there's and a fine line, line between aggressive and just flat out stupid and just don't get caught on the wrong side of that line. When you're breaking off the rail like I happen to be doing, you're going to make the wing ball more consistently, but you're running a big risk of leaving the one ball somewhere near the center of the top rail. So if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and leaving the cue ball anywhere around the center table, you're going to wind up with a dilemma on the one ball. So I've been experimenting with ways not to leave the one ball in the center of the top rail. And the only consistent way I can find to avoid this is to move the cue ball closer to the center of the table. But I've been working on it and I'll keep you posted on what I discover here. But for now, this is what we have on this rack. And the big question here is, do we play safe, or if you want to get aggressive, uh, where do you want to shoot this one ball? We have this in the bottom right-hand corner, and we have this bank shot for the bottom left-hand corner. So which shot is the right shot? But before we get to that, let's take a look at this 2-5, and we have a serious issue here. And common sense will tell you that there's no point in getting aggressive on the one ball and making the one ball if you're just going to get stuck on the two five, which are tied up. So if you're going to be playing safe on the two, why not just skip ahead and play safe on the one and just avoid that whole dilemma? I have to assume that your goal is to become a great pool player, and great pool players are not common. Common is the weekly player. Who goes out on the weekends and plays with his friends and just has a good time. You have to push a little bit past common without going too far over the line. And let's say you decide to play a safety on the one. And it's a pretty damn good safety where you barely skim the right hand side of the one. And go three rails and leave him behind a nine bomb. That's a great safety. It would be better if the cue ball was actually frozen to the nine. But nonetheless, this is a good safety. And now let's say your, your opponent comes to the table and he misses it. He doesn't even hit the one. So now you have ball in hand. And common sense is going to tell you, well, let's put the cue ball in a position where you can make the one and knock out the two five. But a good player is going to hit this ball. In, in the very least, they might even make the ball. But anyway, if they hit it and you're just hoping for a roll on the one ball to enable you to break out the 2-5, you're just kind of hoping for luck. Let's take a better look at the 2-5. And you'll see, if you're thinking right, that the 5 is perfectly makeable as a billiard off the 2 but you would need to get the cue ball somewhere in this area in order to play that shot successfully. So let's look at the second option here of banking the cue ball in the bottom left-hand corner. And you're going to come up along, but right about, if you spin it a little bit, you're going to come up right about here on the bottom left-hand side round. Which, again, if you hit it hard enough, you're going to break out the 5-2. And, and, you know, you're back to hoping for luck that you're going to get a roll on the 2-bone. You're going to have a shot that allows you to get on the 3-bone. Let's take a look at the shot in the bottom right-hand corner, that bank shot. And this is going to put us three rounds in the exact position that you need to be in order to make this billiard on the 2-5. Your only real risk here is getting stuck behind that 9-ball or that 8-ball. But if you can get in this position, you can make this 5-ball and you can get out. And furthermore, if you look at the path of the 2-ball after the billiard, it's coming up right about here. And the cue ball is bouncing off to right about here, which is going to open up the whole game and allow you an easy run out. So if, if we look at the end result of shooting this billiard, you have an easy shot on the 2-ball. That allows you to get on the 3 
and that just opens up the whole game for you and gives you a relatively easy run -in.